Welcome to another episode of Conversational Artificial Intelligence. Paolo is your host, and tonight I want to tell you about a recent interview that I had with Somnath Beranger, who is the CTO of a very interesting startup, Lodge IQ. Tonight we will learn how the hotel industry take your money and price the, the hotel rooms at the highest price possible. So stay tuned. Before going ahead, if you're new to the channel, it is an honor and a privilege to have you here. Thank you so much. If you're coming back, thank you to you as well. So why what we're talking today is important? Basically, because it affects all of us. So actually, we have discovered that tonight um, there is a startup that is working for large hotels, companies, and it's helping them to optimize the price, which in turn, it means that you're probably gonna pay more and you're probably gonna pay more on your next trip. So stay with me and uh, let me tell you what are the three things or four things that we have learned in this interview. The first thing that we learned is that Somnat, as a CTO of this very interesting machine learning startup, has gone to a very differentiated career where he evolved from one role at Texas Instrument where he was doing firmware for chips all the way to machine learning migrating to different roles and so basically every four or five years he has learned a new technology and this was very interesting because people can clearly see how technologists and business managers in the valley are evolving throughout their career and now learning is an important point and this is a clear example that can serve as you know a evidence that new technologies not necessarily bring to obsolescence of your skills but actually can be a challenge for you to learn more the second point to retain is really the understanding of how the hotel industry works from a viewpoint of generating revenue and now new technologies are helping hotels to stay afloat basically technology like the one developed by lodge iq helps hotels to do one simple thing which is called demand for a cast what what's that basically knowing how many people are coming to the hotel how many of them are going to get single room how many of that of them are going to get double rooms how many of them are business travelers how many of them are retail travelers how many of them can be charged more how many of them cannot be charged that much and ultimately what's the price that every day the hotel has to charge for the hotel to make the most money out of it so if you didn't know now you know basically if you know like you are a business user you're likely to be charged differently if you're looking for one single room or a double room at different time of the week or a different time of the year, you're going to be charged differently. And there is a complete intelligence behind this. Third point, very important that uh, we have discovered is that for critical and um, very important applications like this one in the B2B space or the business to business uh, space not only the accuracy of algorithms and the quality of the technology is important but also the ability to convince managers that they have to trust the suggestions the recommendation of the technology what does that mean that mean that when technologists think about creating these fantastic models that predict what the price should be they also had to think about explainability. What, what's that? It's basically telling the manager why and how the model reached the conclusion that tonight in San Francisco, this particular hotel should charge a room for $450. So that's a topic that we'll cover in other uh, videos. It's an important one, in, especially in B2B, the explainability of why a model reaches the conclusions is key. Last point I want to make about this interview is the technology. So we explored with some not why the technology is so interesting here. And basically there are two or three major learnings. One is that it's because it's doing 
they're doing machine learning at scale to a level of data that they handle that five years ago was only possible for very, very large company like the Google, the Facebook of the world. Whereas now a medium or small startups can purchase the same amount of data because of the technologies out there. Else we made the point that not only the technology is available, but they have developed the systems that make operating such a technology affordable and not extremely expensive. And, and obviously we also looked a little bit into the future. And if you're curious to know what's gonna be the future of this area and how machine learning will evolve to you know, help human beings and managers to make better decisions and maybe cover more of their area of operation, then subscribe to the channel and when the video is gonna be available, you'll receive a notification. If you have suggestions about topics that you would like us to cover, please write it in the comment. And as for now, I look forward to hosting you again on another episode of Conversation Artificial Intelligence. So have a good day and uh, looking forward to seeing you again here.